Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, what is NFC and what are its uses? And also, how long does it take for you to renew your passport since everything must be done online now? Well, all of this and more on today's episode, so stay tuned. So a couple of you guys asked on TikTok, what the hell is NFC? So let's answer this question once and for all and hopefully by the end of this video, you know what NFC is. Most of the smartphone nowadays comes with NFC, also known as Near Field Communication. This technology allows you to transfer data between devices but it is limited to a very short range. But usually, this technology only works if you put two devices against each other. For example, if you want to top up your brand new NFC Touch & Go card, you have to place your card directly at the back of your smartphone for it to work. Besides that, contactless payments like Samsung Pay, Google Pay and Apple Pay all use smartphone NFC chip as well. Even debit and credit card all comes with NFC. You know, the one you use for PayWave? Yeah, all of that comes with NFC. Alright, so for question 2, we have Joanne. They ask, does anyone know how long the processing time takes after applying online before you can pick it up? So for this question, she's actually referring to the passport renewal online. So we are actually working on a video about this whole renewing your passport online thing, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, we don't know the exact time for the whole process. Because Rory has recently renewed his passport online and he has some issues with his fingerprint, so he has to go back to the immigration department to settle this issue next week. But according to one of our readers online, she mentioned that she has a ton of problems when it comes to renewing her passport online. Apparently, she did not receive any confirmation email from the immigration department. Instead, she went to the immigration department and waited for 5 hours before she can collect her passport. So for now, I'm not sure about the whole process yet, but do stay tuned to our next episode of Trends where we talk about how we actually renew our passport online. Alright, so for the third question, we have Solan Solan. They ask, Hello, other than tolls, parking lots, KTM stations, where can we use our new Touch & Go NFC card? Question 2. After we link our new NFC card with our Touch & Go wallet, the Pay Direct feature will automatically activate, right? So each time we pass through tolls, the amount will be deducted from our wallet or from our card. If in case the amount will be deducted from our Touch & Go wallet, we can't spend our money separately. That means anytime we have to top up our Touch & Go wallet in order to top up our new card, right? So is there any solution to this like turn off the Pay Direct feature? Hope you will understand my question above. Looking forward to your answer soon. Thank you. Alright Solan Solan, thank you so much for the question. So basically, the new NFC Touch & Go card is just like your regular Touch & Go card. So the only difference between an NFC Touch & Go card and the regular Touch & Go card is that now you have the ability to top up anywhere with your smartphone instead of going to a certain place to top up your Touch & Go card. So whatever your old Touch & Go card can do, the new NFC Touch & Go card can also do the same. And with PayDirect, you can actually link your Touch & Go card to your Touch & Go e-wallet. If you add your Touch & Go card to the e-wallet, this means that some Touch & Go card transactions will be deducted from your e-wallet instead of your physical card balance. PayDirect is supported as selected highways and car parks. If you don't want to use PayDirect and want to use the credit inside the card, you will have to unlink the card from Touch & Go e-wallet. Alright, so that's it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!